From yesterday, mm -hmm. you're very kissy face today. You're very affectionate today. What? Where's my boy? Where's my Petey? There he is. There he is. Petey, I'm to flip the camera and then you get in. Can't get you. Petey. There he is. Hi, baby. Hi, guys. I'm back again. I lied. <laughs> I just want to give you a little update on little Petey here. He looks so good after his grooming. He's a cuddle bug. He's super cuddly now. He loves love. He ate his wet food for me last night. I gave him some from wet food with some chunks of chicken in the food, not extra. And now he's on my head. Oh, what's your kissy face? Oh, come here. Come here. Petey, come here. Lay down. Lay down. And he's rubbing all over me, and he's nothing but tail wags. I did not hear a bark all day, night from this little angel. I have not heard one bark. Sit. <gasps> what? What are you doing? How'd you get that? How'd you get that? Huh? Petey. Petey. What? He's a dream. He's a dream. He was found on the streets. His mommy died and the family said they couldn't care for him. So he was basically living on the streets with those stickers and hitchhikers and completely matted and dirty. Yeah. Just can't even imagine. Um, they said he was on the streets for about six months dodging cars, really close to our, our rescue house. Good thing I didn't see you, huh? I would have snooped you up right away. Not microchip, not neutered. Aw, hi, an angel. So I put a belly band on him last night just to make sure he wasn't going to pee and mark because we don't know if he's potty trained. And guess what? The belly band was completely dry this morning. So it appears that he's even potty trained. He's a baby. He's a year of age. Um, I have an appointment at 1 o'clock today. I'm going to be taking him to get his vaccines, blood work, microchip, um, put him on prevention, and uh, praying he's hot room negative. And then we will set him up for a neuter because he is not neutered. When I tell you, I have security cameras set up for this rescue house. So I get to watch the dogs day and night when I'm not here. And I was watching him last night. Initially, when we left the rescue house, of course, he's confused. And I would find him sitting by the door, just sitting there, not crying, just sitting there waiting for someone to come back. Broke my heart. Um... And then later on through the night, I found him curled up in that spot on that comfy blankie, that beautiful turquoise blankie with the toy. He basically curled up there. And as you can see now, he is eating. I think he likes to eat when somebody is with him and watching him. He feels safe and he is secure. Uh, I have unlimited water, wet food, and dry food for him. He is so gorgeous, guys. This dog is, everybody's fighting over him. I, I can understand why. We do have an amazing friend of ours who has fostered for us in the past, lost her dog. Um, she fostered our bonded pair, uh, Larry and Livia, recently, and they got adopted together. She did fall in love with Larry and wanted to keep him, but we did not separate. She saw Petey, and she came immediately running over here. Lori works from home, um, and she's a very, like I said, a good dear friend of ours. So she saw him when he was dirty and she couldn't get over him. So she is going to be meeting me here at the rescue house at two o'clock after I'm done with his vetting appointment. And she's going to take him home and foster him. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be available. I, I, she could end up keeping him. I told her she needs to act quick because I do have a lot of people inquiring, but either way, um, he is going to be leaving this rescue house today after I get him all his vetting. Uh, Viviana, he was found on the streets and not too far away from our rescue house when the gentleman named Peter reached out to me yesterday morning 
Um, he was frantic. He said, I've called several agencies. One agency required me to him to take the dog, get it vetted, neutered, vaccinated, microchipped, and then they would take the dog, which I've never heard of before. But we'll leave that alone. Um, so anyways, he found this dog we've named Petey. We named him Petey after his finder, who was Peter. Very nice gentleman. Uh, found him dodging cars on Andrews Avenue, Oakland Park. Followed him to the home, and there was a family and children, and he talked to them, and they said, we can't take care of him. Um, apparently, her sister died of cancer six months ago. Rest her soul. God rest her soul. Um, and the family, who I'm sure she was hoping would care for her baby, um, could not follow through on her wishes, so he was running the streets, neglected, in danger of being killed, scooped up by the wrong person. He is a pure Havanese, um, if I've ever seen one. I don't think we've ever truly rescued a pure Havanese, but I believe this baby, after searching photos, I mean, look at this face. Look at this face. Look at the eye. Look at the eye. I love you. I'm not sure about his weight. Um, he's very fluffy, so we're going to find out today what, his, what he weighs, and then we have to get him neutered. But he doesn't bark. You don't even bark. You don't make a peep. He's a kissy face. Oh, someone's at the door. He's a kissy face. He's affectionate. I'm laying on his bed, the famous blue bed. Ooh, he's afraid of toys. Look. Okay. He doesn't know when they squeak what he's supposed to do, but he's learning. Constant tail wag. You stay. Stay. Somebody's here. I'll be right back. Stay. 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 He doesn't like when I leave. So somebody's at the door, so I'm going to shut down and go see who it is. Um, I'm signing off for now, but that's our little PD update. I'll update you more. This is Amy, 100 plus. Abandoned dogs. Of Everglades, Florida with our PD. I'll be right back, buddy. Get back, 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 back. Come on. Get back. Come on, boo-boo.